Hello everyone, welcome to Code Language. In this video, we're going to be looking at two HTML element tags you probably did not know existed. Uh, this video is for those of you that are at beginner level in HTML. Uh, the two HTML tags we're going to be looking at is the audio tag and the base tag. Okay. So the audio tag is used to embed audio files on a website, right? So let's say uh, I have a sample website here. Uh, it's a website created for like an accounting, you know, uh, an accounting business, right? So let's say the owner wants, the owner recorded a greeting that he wants to um, embed on the site so when the users come they could just click an audio file and listen to a greeting from the owner right so we want to embed the audio file right here on the website I'm thinking this spot would be a great spot maybe somewhere underneath the green button right here right will be good all right so we're gonna see how we can utilize that audio tag you know make it easy for us to embed this audio right so I'm gonna go right here in my HTML file I'm looking at it right here where it says company profile and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's see how we can embed this audio file so I'm gonna go ahead and write something like maybe a paragraph that says click here or click the play button click the play button to listen to uh, a message from the owner all right maybe I'll say something like the owner's name is Manuel Kessick click the play button to listen to a message from the owner Manuel Kessick something like that right all right and then uh, we're now going to add the audio tag so I'm gonna say um, audio okay something like that and then I want to add something called controls all right so we want to display the play button the pause button so we want to include where it says controls right there and then uh, we want to also include the source of the audio all right, so I'm gonna say source. Uh, I'm gonna say source here, and I'm gonna write SRC equal to include type. I'm gonna put equal to, and I'm gonna say something like audio. Um, maybe for yeah, audio forward slash MP or wave, something like that. All right right okay and then we're gonna add one more okay and I will explain to you why why we're doing that we're gonna add another source it's the same audio file but in a different format right and this one let's say mp3 okay mp3 or let's make the mp3 one first and then followed by the wave mp3 and then let's say we, we have wave Okay. All right. Uh, and then let's put the um, the link for the audio is going to go right here. Okay. So this is where we're going to put the link to where the audio is stored. Okay. So maybe some of you might store it, you know, in the media area. Um, you know, so just for demo purposes, I already have one pulled here. I already stored it on, on online. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it here and then paste it right here. Uh, this is for MP3, and then I'm gonna pull this one here. Okay, copy and then paste. All right. So again, like I said, um, this link right here is just copying the link to where the audio has been saved okay all right so we have that link over there now you notice that we have 
remember you know while we were we were writing this audio tag we have two of them here right so why do we put two versions of it why do we have the um, mp3 and the wav version sometimes the browser might not support the first version right so if the the browser doesn't support the first version you want to have a fallback version all right now the good thing is that most browsers support the mp3 version okay because mp3 seems to be a very very standardized audio version uh, but the wave could be some kind of a fallback for you all right just in case a browser doesn't support one then maybe you have a fallback okay uh, another thing we can also include in here in case something happens and the browser for some reason cannot render the audio maybe there's a problem with the server where you 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 originally stored the audio we could put a text in there that says something like your browser uh, was not able to support to support this audio this audio file something like that right or this audio something like that okay so if something should happen you have some kind of a fallback message that will print to uh, will show to the uh, to the user okay so let's go to the front end and see how this thing looks on the front end okay some space here yeah all right so over here we can see that the audio is right over here but it looks like it's sort of like towards the left okay you can see that it's towards the left so maybe we can style it a little bit uh, let me see if I can style style the audio say um, I want uh, maybe padding left maybe padding left maybe, uh, 90 pixels something like that uh, let's see how it looks okay it looks a little better now uh, let me just make it a hundred okay all right so it's centered pretty nicely right yeah this is not bad all right so now when we play the audio we will hear all right you hear that so let's assume the message starts with a phone call or something right i just pulled that online just for sample demo purposes uh you know it can also be downloaded right here then there's this playback speed all right so this looks pretty neat right so the owner can now play the greeting to the users right there all right this looks pretty nice and neat right there all right so that's how you can use the audio tag in html uh, it's a pretty useful feature all right the next one we're gonna be looking at is the base the base um for that i'm gonna use a different uh, let me just use this right here so let's say we have a base website we're gonna be using so I'm gonna use the base tag I'm gonna say base um, let me say uh, base uh, hold on yeah base is not yeah it's a self closing tag so let's say base and I'm gonna say ref and I'm gonna use a sample website uh, HTTPS say appliance and mattress center dot com right and then maybe um, I could also include um, I could also include the target and say the target should be underscore blank All right something like that okay so this is our base uh, ref URL okay so let's say I'm gonna be writing different 
content and referring to different parts of this website okay different pages of the website okay so let's say um, I'm gonna write something about refrigerators right let's say appliance and mattress center you, you know sell refrigerators so let me say buy fridges right let's say buy fridges and then I'm gonna say something like um like a paragraph then I'm gonna say something like we sell affordable refrigerators 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 okay and then I'm gonna say something like um, a ref is equal to okay it's equal to oops. Ah. So I want it to be there we go that's what I need <laughs> all right and then I'm going to go ahead and close this one out for now okay so in here I'm gonna say something like maybe need more here oops let me pull this guy to the back just a sec cut this and pull it right here okay so um so as you can see right here i'm writing about the refrigerators that is being sold by this company right so i'm going to refer to the refrigerator page okay so i'm uh, instead of me typing in appliancemattresscenter.com forward slash refrigerators i'm just going to put in here new refrigerators Okay, new refrigerators you can see right here okay so as you could see this ref link is referring to the base link right here so I do not have to insert appliance and mattress center.com over here I don't have to do that all I have to do is insert the text after the forward slash so let's go over and see what's happening in here I'm gonna go ahead and click um, open with live server so you can see right here you can see that link over here where it says read more and when I click on it it's gonna send me to the exact page of that website you see that right here see right here so right here it says we sell affordable refrigerators and then it sends me right here so you see what is happening here this part is all I needed to put right in here in the ref area right and when I click on it right here it sends me to the exact same page right so let's say um, I want to talk about free new freezers right so over here you could write another text over here let me go ahead and do that right now real quick I'm gonna copy right here and I'm gonna paste that here so let's say something like we sell new we sell affordable freezers too and then I'm gonna put in here right here where it says new hyphen freezers right I'm gonna put that in here new hyphen this okay so when we go back to that right here you can see it right here so when I click on here it's gonna take me straight to the freezer page okay so that is how the base element works it's just a, a quicker short way of referencing a specific website you know if you're gonna be writing content re referencing different pages of that specific website just put the main website in here and then you just put the forward slash uh, the, uh, the text after the main forward slash of the main URL just put that so it will 
reference the, the base and then open it in blank which means it's opening it in a new tab okay all right so i hope you found this video useful don't forget to like and subscribe i'm gonna be posting more videos like this to help you you guys out uh, have a happy coding day enjoy your, your day and i'll see you in the next video bye mm -hmm. Mm-hmm.